David McWilliams, uh, I was fascinated to see we're at an investment conference and here's a man with over 140,000 Twitter followers. You must be into social media. I, th I think it's a great thing. I think it's, uh, it's a huge liberation. I think it's an unbelievably brilliant opportunity for opinion makers, opinion formers, opinion receivers, commentators to get their material out. It's also a two-way street. I learn an enormous amount from oh, Twitter. How? Because you follow people who are following. It's imagine you are in the most brilliant tutorial with the most brilliant people saying, you know what, you should read this, or read that, or I read something. It's amazing. Like, so it's as if you're getting curated stuff from really interesting people all the time. That's the people I follow. And in economics, it's, it's really good. It's, it's, it's a great, great medium. And of course, brevity is a very difficult thing. But, it, but it's all changing, isn't it? The internet seems to now be impacting different industries, disrupting different well, industries. Our industry, it has been both a boom on one side and a disaster on the other because traditional journalism and commentary and whatever is people expect it for free. So we're, you know, we're, we're, like, we're like blacksmiths at the advent of the car. You know, we're the ones going around looking for horses and nobody else wants them. And I think that you then have to figure out how do you play the, the new game. And how have you done it? I think you, we, we do it with cartoons, with animations, with short pieces, with Periscope. With you. So we use it as a way. I mean, I do a very interesting, the only stand-up comedy and economics festival in the world called Kilkenomics. And we use Twitter extensively for that. Kilkenomics. Kilkenomics. It's in Kilkenny, which is in Ireland. So you should come. It's on the 6th of November every year. It's... The, the Financial Times called it the best economics conference in the world. And our keynote speaker this year is Nassim Taleb. Oh, fooled by randomness. Exactly. Yeah, he's a, he's a Lebanese who would be well suited in Johannesburg. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so what we do is we try and bring people over. And we use social media a lot. Uh, it's free. And you can curate your own stuff. How many people can get in there? Oh, we sell about five or 6,000 tickets. But it's a very small. I mean, Kilkenny is the old medieval capital of Ireland. But it's in the north, eh? No, it's, it's, no, it's, in, the, it's in the south, middle to the south. And it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And old cathedrals and courthouses and, you know, fascinating old buildings. And what we do is we put stand-up comedians as the MCs. So the economists then have to be able to speak the language of the stand-up comedian in order to get uh, understood. And what actually happens is the stand-up comedian gives the permission to people in the audience to ask questions they thought they could never ask. Because they say, if, if, the, if the funny guy, if he can ask the question, so can I. And the dynamic works extremely well. But social media is our main sales and communication pitch for that. David McWilliams, uh, I think I'm going to try and get there on the 9th of November. Yeah, come, we'd love to have you. We'd do a piece on South Africa. <laughs>